Hi there, this is Smart Penguins and we're here to help you with your game making adventures. In this video we'll demonstrate how you can add leaderboard to your Billbox game using Google's game services. Go to your Google Play console, click on game services and click add new game. Put in the name of your game, select category and click continue. You can populate the rest of the information that you want. Go to linked apps and select Android select the game you're adding leaderboard to. Click Save and Continue. Click Authorize your app now. Click Confirm. Back to List. If you want to test your leaderboards before you publish to Google Play Store, you'll need to link another app with your debug SHA. Let's add Android, Math Racer, select the package name, click Save and Continue, and let's click Authorize your app now. And now you need to get your debug SHA. To get that, you can find instruction provided by Google Play Service. Let's go to our terminal and run that, enter. And then we can find the SHA1 key here. Copy it, go inside our form, paste it in, click confirm and click back to list. And now we have two authentications, one for publishing in Play Store and one for debugging. Let's go to leaderboards, add a leaderboard. Let's call it high score. You can change anything in configuration if you'd like. Click Save. And now we have the leaderboard ID that we'll use in BuildBox. And then if we click Get Resources, here we can find the app ID that we'll use to put for gaming service ID in BuildBox. Also, you can find the leaderboard ID here. To add the necessary functionality to your game, we'll need to go to our project settings, select Google Play Store under Application Store, and let's add our leaderboard ID and add our game service ID. Select your score type that you want to add to leaderboard and click OK. Click Done. Now we can go to Testing and add our testers. As it says right here, the following users can test your saved drafts for Google Play game services before they are published. Now it's all configured for you to start testing. Now we need to add a button to load game services. Let's go to our UI screen and let's add another navigation button. Select a function to game services. Let's add a label. And now we can export to Android. Click import project. Go to your exported projects folder, Android folder. Click open. After import is completed, and if you're trying to test your app, go to build and click build APK. If you publish it to Google Play Store, go to build and generate signed bundle APK. When build is complete, you can go notification and click locate. And you should be able to find the app debug.apk. Put it on your phone, install it, and test your app. Now when you launch the app, you'll see game services login. And then when you click the leaderboard, you'll be able to see your high score. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, write in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos.